The last Empire program, Ancient Mysteries, Reveal the Future, has been a really good program for WA. I am here with Andrew Skeks, who is the personal ministries director of the conference and also the pastor of Carmel College Church. Andrew, welcome. And tell us a little bit about the Last Empire program, please. Well, Kai, the Last Empire is a modern packaging of uh, an introduction to Adventist Christianity and particularly focusing on prophecy. And it's been the most widespread evangelistic program we've done in WA for years. We've had uh, 13 churches so far uh, run at 11 sites, and we've got another three churches who are just starting up at the moment, uh, which has been really good. So we've had basically over 1,000 people began attending this program, if you include the people that attended during the services at North Perth and Mount Barker. And uh, as of the end of July, there were, uh, again, about 276 people attending the specific programs and then those other people attending those church services. And of that, we had 328 community people start and about uh, 91 finish the program. So that's been really exciting. We've also had uh, local pastors feature at most of the sites, which, again, is something that hasn't happened for a long time. And in some cases, some lay people. So that's been really good. Andrew, so I'm also aware that this program has been screened outside of WA. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, the great thing is that uh, it was filmed. Gary Webster's Ancient Mysteries Last Empire programs were filmed right here in the News West studio, which is fantastic. Uh, 29 programs, and they are available on YouTube and on DVD and uh, also online and what have you. And so um, one of our members, Alan Loder from Manjum Up, took them out to... Uh, Vanuatu and they've been screened out there and people are hearing about the good news out there so that's fantastic. And we've learned a few things from from this that you write about in the News West. Tell us about that please. Yeah well there have been a lot of positives but probably the things we've learned is that um, people were much much more likely to finish the program if um, they had good friendship connections with church members. Um, we had a number of people come along just to the advertising and particularly in the cases of the Ancient Mysteries programs who were interested, but uh, many of those people didn't finish the series. And so it just goes to show um, that if we have um, a friendship basis, if there's connections with the church, uh, like happened at Clarkson, a number of people at Clarkson Church were baptised during the program. They were people who, by and large, already had connections with the church and they were coming back into church life and bringing their family members with them. And so, you know, if we can befriend people before the program, during the program and after, uh, there's going to be a lot more success. And Andrew, something about Curtin's story that has happened there is, is really fascinating. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, we've got the Axe Church um, at Curtin University. And uh, the great thing there is we have uh, two of the, of the students themselves have decided to step up and present. And uh, or Orhei, uh, one of the students, he is a pretty recent convert. He was only baptised within the last two years. He's never done anything like this before, but he decided that he'd, he'd step up and present these programs, and he's doing a great job, and that's really exciting. And this group as well um, have good connections with people on campus. They've made friends. They've invited people. And on the opening night of the 35 people there, over, over a third of them uh, were uh, not from the church. And, and that's just a fantastic thing. And it's the same at Rockingham Church. Um, there was very good support from the members there. They came out, uh, particularly on the Fridays, week after week, and uh, they befriended the people that came. And because of that, four people are attending church and moving towards baptism. And a number of their own young people also decided to, uh, to get baptised. And so it's, that's the sort of thing that can, can happen when you get more ownership. I think we've probably learned that ownership is the key. You know, if churches support this, if the members keep coming rather than dropping off after the first weekend or two, if they're intentional about befriending the people that come, inviting people, then this is a great opportunity to share hope with people. Andrew, thank you very much. Thank you.